Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Looney. Uh, I'm a patent examiner here at the IPO, and I'm going to talk about patent claims. The claims of your patent application are possibly the most important part of the application. It's where you try and say, in as precise and concise a way, what you've done that hasn't been done before. Uh, it's actually a little like uh, a, a boundary dispute in your garden, right? Everyone wants a big garden. Everyone wants the fences to be as widely spaced as possible. So when you put your patent claims together, you'll try and use language that is very broad and vague uh, in order to set the boundaries of the monopoly as widely as you can. When we patent examiners see your claims, uh, we might say, actually, you've claimed it so broadly that the fences are starting to uh, encroach either on other people's property or on stuff that's been done before. So we'll tell you to narrow the language of your claims to bring the boundaries of the monopoly in uh, a little closer. But then you don't want the monopoly to be so small that it leaves a little corridor for your competitors to scoot through and basically do what you're doing without it being covered by the patent. So your language has to be very concise and very precise and very technical. Uh, anyone who's ever read a patent claim, uh, you couldn't say that this is going to get uh, a clear English award. The language is quite dense and difficult to understand precisely because it has to be so accurate uh, and technically detailed. So for an example, I've got here a kind of corkscrew, right? Uh, what you do with this corkscrew, you grab the neck of the bottle using these levers. You use the other lever to push the corkscrew into the cork. You then pull the cork out, and it doesn't burrow its way out again. There's a little catch in here. So you pull the cork out, uh, and you are able to open the bottle within just a small number of seconds, which is very useful if you've got an awful lot of bottles to open uh, in a short time. So if I were to ask you, what would be the one feature, the single feature that you wanted to protect about this device, what would it be? What would be the focus of your patent claims? Uh, so people might suggest, well, it's kind of the way you can do that and do that, and it's open and it's very easy. I'd say that was trying to claim your invention in terms of the result you wanted to achieve. You're not actually allowed to do that. Uh, I could just patent the car that went a thousand miles an hour. A patent examiner would say, well, no, you need to tell us how that happens. It needs to be what's called an enabling disclosure. In terms of this corkscrew, uh, other people might say, well, it's these gears or these levers. Actually, the part of this device that is the really important part is the screw itself. If you can see, the screw is actually kind of stretched out compared to a normal corkscrew. If you took a normal corkscrew and just tried to push the screw into the cork, you just end up pushing the cork into the bottle because the screw is so tightly wound. It needs a twisting force to get it through the cork. This device allows you to give a vertical force, a force crucially in the direction that the screw is going. Then when you pull it out with an opposing vertical force, there's a little catch in here that stops it just burrowing out again. And that's the way you'd actually claim this device. It would allow you to even have uh, a travel uh, equivalent of this device, which was shaped a lot more like just a T-shaped corkscrew. It still had that same mechanism to pull it, push it in, pull it out, using the force in the same direction of the screw. That might sound very technically detailed, a very tiny thing to claim a monopoly on, but that is really the nature of patents. Patents and indeed progress are more to do with these small incremental steps rather than these huge leaps that change the world all at once.